if the lines x minus 1 upon 2 is equal to y plus 1 upon 3 and z minus 1 upon 4 the line on the plane and another line x minus 3 upon 1 is equal to y plus y minus k upon 2 is equal to z upon 1 intersect the two lines are intersecting at a point and we need to find the value of k since the line is passing through the first line is passing through the point 1 comma minus 1 comma 1 and the second line is passing through the point 3 comma k comma 0 if these two lines are intersecting at a point say p so what's the value of k so let us consider general point on the first line any point on the line x minus 1 upon 2 is equal to y plus 1 upon 3 is equal to z minus 1 upon 4 let us consider equals to say alpha so any point we can write x minus 1 upon 2 is equal to alpha that is x minus 1 is equal to 2 alpha so x is equal to 2 alpha plus 1 its y coordinate is 2 alpha plus 1 and similarly y plus 1 upon 3 is equal to alpha which implies y plus 1 is equal to 3 alpha so y is equal to 3 alpha minus 1 and z minus 1 upon 4 is equal to alpha so we have z minus 1 is equal to 4 alpha so z is equal to 4 alpha plus 1 so we can consider any point on the plane on the line sorry any point on the line the first line we can write it as 2 alpha plus 1 comma 3 alpha minus 1 comma 4 alpha plus 1 similarly let us consider any point any point on the second line any point on the line x minus 3 upon 1 is equal to y minus k upon 2 is equal to z upon 1 say which is equal to beta so that we can add x minus 3 upon 1 is equal to beta so which implies x is equal to beta plus 3 and y minus k upon 2 is equal to beta which implies y is equal to 2 times beta plus k and z upon 1 is equal to beta so we have z is equal to beta so we can consider the point on the second line we can consider to be beta plus 3 comma 2 times beta plus k comma beta so this is the point on the second line and since these two lines are intersecting so that we can consider let us consider the point p only here say this is the point p and here also the point p both must be equal at the point of intersection at the point of intersection so we can consider the coordinates are equal 2 alpha plus 1 so you can consider 2 alpha plus 1 is equal to beta plus 3 and 3 alpha minus 1 is equal to 2 beta plus k and 4 alpha plus 1 is equal to beta So which implies that 2 alpha minus beta is equal to 2 and here 3 alpha minus 2 beta is equal to k plus 1 and here third equation 4 alpha minus beta is equal to minus 1. So make this as 1, 2 and 3. Solving 1 and 3. 
solving 1 and 3 so we will get multiplying equation 1 with 2 so we will get 4 alpha minus 2 beta is equal to 4 and the third equation is 4 alpha minus beta is equal to minus 1 on solving we can we can get uh, minus 2 beta plus beta that is minus beta which is equal to 4 minus of minus 1 that is 5 so we are, we are getting beta is equal to minus 5 and substituting beta is equal to minus 5 in the first equation so we'll get 2 alpha plus 5 is equal to 2 so 2 alpha is equal to minus 3 so alpha is equal to negative 3 by 2 and we got alpha is equal to negative 3 by 2 by solving the first equation and third equation and now substitute alpha is equal to negative 3 by 2 and beta is equal to minus 5 in equation 2 so from equation 1 we can write 3 times alpha sorry equation 2 here from equation 2 3 times alpha that is minus 3 by 2 minus 2 times of beta that is 2 times of minus 5 is equal to k plus 1 that is minus 9 by 2 plus 10 is equal to k plus 1 or minus 1 is equal to k so we got k is equal to so minus 9 by 2 plus 9 or 9 minus 9 by 2 so that is k is equal to 9 to the 18 minus 9 9 upon 2 so the value of k for which the two lines intersect is nothing but 9 by 2 so that is the answer Thank <laughs> you.